Hey guys, it is the evening time and kind of winding down. I start to do like on again, off again, little video projects. And there's a very unique one that I just wanted to share that I've been working on. And again, you know, my little creative juices will come and go and it's fun to just kind of break away from the night and kind of dive in for 20 or 30 minutes on some of these video projects. One that I'm gonna share with you is one that is true to my heart right now, and it is a family video, true roots to Texas kind of story that has a lot of family history to um, my family here in Texas. It's actually a um, kind of an interesting little story, and it has to do with this little kitten on my lap because it turns out that he is now tied in. So we've got family tied into Texas and now family tied into this little baby cat. So I can't wait to show you guys what I'm working on. So my grandmother told me that she, um, is generations of, um, family land that lives in frost and they have some land out that Nick and I recently went to go see. And so she's been sending me some pictures that as we went out to go, visit the land and frost that they have. I'm learning how to kind of drop in some of these pictures into the video. And so I know that my team with Real News PR is just beyond talented, but I use iMovie to edit. And so I highly want to encourage you guys that, you know, whatever you're doing with your editing skills, it doesn't even matter. Just throw things into a timeline and go to work with it because I think it's more about, you know, diving in, compiling all the video footage you have to tell a story versus how skilled you are with the video. Um, sometimes I get a little like I overthink it, but I'm going to play a little bit for you. And again, literally it's just some music playing with some of the video footage that I have and then I start to go into the clips and literally guys like in the middle of doing this little family project um it's crazy but I found this baby cat while we were out there filming and it's nuts so that is a big part of this video that I will be sharing so here is just a little sneak preview So here's some of those pictures my grandmother's like emailing me and it's going to kind of match up with this little uh, adventure that we had out in the family land in Frost, Texas. And so in this little like, I guess sizzle in the beginning, I do allude that we found this kitten <laughs> in the land and I will actually walk through in this video the whole story. Again, it's cool in iMovie because they have all the titles and everything. Because in some of the video, you can't hear what I'm saying. So kind of the titles and subtitles will flow in and out. But yeah, I can't wait to share with you guys this whole little, little video series that I'm doing. Um, again, you know, I think I film so much and I just feel like I never do anything with it. So with this one specifically, um, I love that I'm tying kind of some of my grandmother's roots and family history into this because we're seven generations with this land out in Frost, Texas. And Nick and I wanted to go out there since it's not too far from where we live in Plano and just go, go, I don't know, wilderness adventure, right? And then match up some of the pictures that she sent with the land. And it's just so amazing because I remember visiting this land when I was younger and visiting Texas, and I just could not believe some of these pictures that my grandma had shared with me over the years. And then look what the land looks like now. It's just so cool to be able to kind of have that family history and legacy to tie into and then to be able to share it later on and y'all i'm not even kidding like <laughs> while we're out there um i'll kind of fast forward um you know we found bones and we found like frogs and we're like totally in adventure mode and um i'll show you just a little bit again i'm going through the imovie timeline 
and so we're out here. And as I'm filming in this little bog, I could hear... <laughs> That's a cat. I could hear this orphan Meow. kitten. Who, I'll cut to the chase. We found him, scooped him up, took him to the vet, and we have him now. But, oh, I'll just, uh, this gets me emotional every time because go find the cat. He's in trouble. it's crazy. And again, I'll pause it right here. The whole part of me just filming every waking moment of this entire adventure and then we caught on film and we found this kitten just blows my mind. So film continually. You'll never know what happens in life that you're actually able to capture. <laughs> um, but I will show you a little bit about finding Here's my baby cat. Needs help. He's like, I remember when you found me too. Oh, yeah, they're just jumping. Meow, meow. Oh, it's a baby kitty, Bobby. Oh. Do you remember this? This was literally like 10 days ago. Okay, so I start screeching and getting really emotional because that's just how I am. But, um, yeah, you guys, this little kitten came out of the forest. It's the mom. She's here. Hey, Sarah. And then Nick's like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? Um, baby kitty was in trouble. And so, yep, yeah, so that's gonna be a part of the video. Why not include it, right? And like freaking out and like, oh my gosh, where did you come from? <laughs> um, so anyways, you guys will, I will share this whole little fun video with you guys as I start editing it down. Um, lots of the cat were in there, but then back to kind of the family land and history elements. Um, you know, Nick found all these wildlife spiders. We kind of go back to me feeding the cat because he was just starving. Um, but the parts of it where I'm starting to share all my grandmother's history and all of her, let me see if I can get to it. Here we go. So she sent me emails and then I kept going through, okay. We've got six generations of family heritage to celebrate in Frost, Texas. And I'm trying to fast forward just a little bit. So I'll kind of like toss back and forth. Um, they got this land because her great grandfather was serving in the Texas Revolutionary War and received the land and she told us for a few things to look out for cedar trees the cistern that was actually dug up by her uncles when they were young men she told us to watch out for any hogs she had no idea that we would run into a baby cat but um I'm gonna start inputting here some pictures of there's actually a old cotton field house that was out there and Nick had actually, while I was <laughs> taking care of this baby cat, um, he found kind of some remains of this house. And it's so cool because we've got a couple bricks that we brought back. But how cool is that? I mean, seven generations, Caleb gets to learn all about Texas history this year. And the fact that we have some family that's tied back into Texas and we're able to kind of visit some of these places is really cool. And it's got me thinking about all kinds of family history that I wanna start digging into with both sides of grandparents and just, you know, pass it on to Caleb and have him dig into, you know, his dad's side of the family and what their family history looks like. And it's just so cool to be able to think about, you know, documenting some of this stuff on video for future generations to see because, you know, I would have loved to see um, some history on that land in video form. But anyways, just kind of tying this back into content and things that I'm working on and to uh, inspire you in a way if you can on documenting things in video, dropping them into a little iMovie timeline, creating things, put it up on your YouTube channel and share with others. And you never know what you might find. 
Anyways, thanks for um, tuning into my rambling Facebook Live video, uh, getting Kayla to bed. But again, I kind of like routinely will slip in and start to keep going with my editing projects. Some other random editing projects that I'm working on, other than my family cat video. Um, Nick and I went to Mexico and I video blogged the whole thing. And we had such a fun time um, visiting some friends that were getting married. And I'll show you a little bit of that too. Let's see if I can get to it. I think in this beginning part, I'm gonna have a little bit of voiceover because I figured out how to do that recently. Okay, here we go. So with all my video styles, I'll kind of add like a fun little teaser and I'll swap in and out like different little clips that will kind of set the mood. Oh, excuse you. Did you just sneeze? I know. I love that I've got like this little lap kitty now. <laughs> Speaking of lap kitties, look, it's like you if you were on vacation with us right there. Um, sorry, so random. Okay, so then again, you know, kind of like in my last little video, I'll have like that little rolling intro. And I'll go right into kind of me video blogging the whole thing. So early. Vacation awaits. So starting with the airport, we will, um, show Ooh, it gets so loud. Us on the airplane. goal I actually have for this video to put on record is to sit down and voice record kind of some moments with Nick and then drop the audio in and just kind of explain some kind of behind the scenes stuff with it. I think that would be a lot of fun. I've done that with Caleb before. Um, I'll show you guys what that looks like. I know this totally random live is going into like the projects that I've been working on lately. Um, but it's kind of something that like I'll again, off again, on again, work on. Let's see. Okay. So it was when I asked Caleb to be my ring bearer. I'll kind of go into that one. Oh, and will you be my flower girl? Okay, today's video is all about how to ask your ring bearer to be your ring bearer. And I have a very special way to ask because I had to make mine extra special. So there's all of my audio. And I literally just in a quiet room watched the entire timeline that I had of all these little video pieces. And again, all on my iPhone, dropped them into the iMovie. And then I sat, watched it and started talking through it through the um, little audio recording, voice recording on my phone. If you guys don't know how to do that, I'll totally show how to do that in another live. Um, maybe I'll do kind of a behind the scenes, but I literally have to like sit there and like say it over and over and over again to get kind of the cadence down. I asked my son Caleb But with this one, head. I had Caleb do the voice with me. So let's see where I put him. Oh, my son Caleb. Hi! There he is. <laughs> okay, so. So as you watch it, you'll hear both of our voices. Welcome in on this little video. My son Caleb. Hi! <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go through how I made his box 
and everything that went into it, the whole thought process. This is really special for me to do today with Caleb. Caleb, you ready? Yes. Was it fun when I asked you to be my ring bearer? Yeah, I was so surprised. Yeah. I want to do this with every single video, this little voice recording. I don't know. It's so cute, especially to hear Caleb's voice and re-watching these moments that we live together. So I definitely want to do a lot more of those. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it for the little projects that I've been working on kind of at night randomly. Um, I did post one just on this random... Um, marshmallow cookie dough thing yesterday and that was almost more about like trying to figure out Instagram live uh, there is like dozens and dozens and dozens of my wedding <laughs> um, I've got like when we started planning it being crafty how I asked my bridesmaids to be my um, in my wedding I've got some random stuff of Caleb I've got some client stuff that I'll work on at the office, of course. But, um, yeah, I think this one's kind of fun. This was like when we were going through and doing a full out venue tour. And like I say, when you're taking video of every little fabric of things and you don't really know what to do with it, I'm glad that like every venue, when we were touring a venue or a venue tour for the wedding, we did kind of log it and I would do just a little quick walkthrough and then do a voiceover at the very end. And this was kind of like a fun little year in the making deal that I ended up doing. But um, that one's actually on my YouTube channel. So that one's been finished for a while. Um, and again, I never know like exactly how many of these to share with the public or whatever. I just like kind of have it all live on my YouTube channel just to have it there. Um, but it's cool because I've had some like brides in Texas reach out to me on this like venue video thing that I had done just to kind of like blog the process. But that was kind of cool. So you never know who you're gonna impact later on that you've just taken all this time to like put it all in, dump it all in. But um, I wanted to relive the moment of when Nick and I found our venue. And so I have all the places that we looked at and then kind of Nick's reaction and my reaction, which by the way, Nick is not always thrilled <laughs> that I put him on camera. He just kind of puts up with it. But I can't tell you how we laugh together and rewatch and relive these moments and it is just so much fun but i'll kind of end on this one and i will um see you guys tomorrow with the next random video that i end up doing first stop siri take us to starbucks pretty much everything will have some kind of a comic relief um this is when we went to um a really fun venue in McKinney and then we kind of talked through it Nick actually really if you can tell wanted to get married at this venue in McKinney um, I thought it was too far for our guests to drive but that's because we had so many out-of-town people and then we went to another place in McKinney which is absolutely stunning as well um, again couldn't drive to McKinney and then here was the venue that we ended up choosing and I walked through that that was like our moment when we chose our wedding venue. It's nuts to like rewatch that moment. Um, and all the thought process behind it at the time. We went to a place in Flower Mound. Right? Like all those little details in life that you forget. Take a video and, you know compile it together see what you can do be creative be a little creative genius at night like I do anyways um I love to give you guys advice I love to blog things on my little social with Sarah channel on things that I'm experimenting with and kind of the video projects or photo or things that I'm experimenting with and this has definitely been totally fun for me to do um, there's been times where I will go in these phases too with editing and you can also edit all on your iPhone. So I've got like a huge timeline of videos that I will just edit on the spot on, oh, excuse you, more sneezes. Um, I will edit videos on the spot on my iPhone if I'm out with clients or something that I'm doing that's like right there in the moment that you still want to edit together. It's been amazing like technology is nuts like I can't believe how quickly you can 
take video footage and edit it and have a full out video. Um, I've edited over an hour long project on my iPhone alone. That is just so easy and so fun to do. Um, anyways, okay, I know I'm rambling. Um, tons of little fun things to post and share with you guys just on a personal level, but also just to show you guys what I'm doing and I love to know what you guys are up to lately too. I hope you guys all have a great little meowy night.